Hi, fellow Webflowers. If you're new to this channel, I am Nico, Webflow developer and co-founder of Blogadin, the one and only Webflow partner agency in Munich, Bavaria in Germany. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you how you can do this inside of Webflow. All right, so this, this effect that you can see right here, it's called page filling or on the other hand, a one page scroll. And to achieve this effect inside of Webflow, you basically have to get a jQuery plugin and it's called PageBuilding.js. And on the page of PageBuilding.js, you the documentation to this plugin. But we'll skip the process and I'll show you right away in Webflow how this works. So inside of Webflow, we have basically and I'll go over to the custom code section right now. We have basically two different script tags that we want to use. First of all, we got the style sheet and we got the script tag. So these have to be applied. So you have to have the style sheet, so the link to the style sheet inside of the heads tag. And then you have to have the script inside of the body tag. And below the script, you have to basically call a function and then run it. So document ready function running page filling. Okay. And if you hit that save, what's important for the HTML? So first of all, you have to wrap the whole page filling uh, sections. You have to wrap them inside of an yeah wrapper and it's called in my case, it's called C page filling, but that's not the important part. The important part is the ID and you have to give it an ID of page filling so that the effect applies on this specific sections. Then for the section itself, it's important to have them fixed height on of 100 view age. Why is it important? It's because, and you can maybe think of it by yourself, if you have a one page scroll, and your one page is not on a high on a hundred percent viewport, it will look strange, right? And that's why you have to have a fixed height for each section of 100 view age. Awesome. And after that, I mean, I've got a container and put a heading inside, but that's the absolutely depending on your choice. So after the page filling ID and the section element, which is set to 100 VH, you can basically just use this page filling effect and that's it. So that's really simple, really simple achieved inside of Webflow and it looks just amazing. I mean, look at this awesome effect. I mean, that's just, that's just great. Like that's just, that's just amazing. All right, so that's it for the page filling. I will link the clonable inside of the description where you can just get it and clone it and check how it's done and basically, yeah, use it for your own projects. If you need professional Webflow help, then you can contact us at contact at blogdin.de or just go onto our website and give us a request. All right, so we see each other in the next Webflow video and till then, happy coding.